Good afternoon and welcome from the Hyundai N stand at the 2023 Goodwood Festival of Speed. For those of, for those of you that know and are familiar with the Festival of Speed, you will know that it is a festival that attracts fans from all over the world, online, on television, and also live here at the beautiful Goodwood Estate in the heart of the English countryside. Now, day one at the Goodwood Festival of Speed typically includes important announcements and world premieres by the leading manufacturers. And this year is no different, as today is a premiere occasion for two reasons. This is the first ever time that Hyundai has appeared at the world famous Goodwood Festival of Speed. And secondly, the company is using this wonderful event for the end day 2023, which showcases their new Ionic 5N to the world for the very first time. Yes, as I said, it is a premiere for two reasons. So to get started, let me introduce two very, very important people. Mr. Chang, President and CEO of Hyundai Motor Company and the Duke of Richmond, owner of the Goodwood Estate and founder of the Goodwood Festival of Speed. How are you? Thank you. Hi. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome. Look at that lovely crowd. Um, so welcome to End Day 2023 at the Goodwood Festival. So Mr. Chang, if I may please start with you, as president and CEO of Hyundai, can you tell us what this car represents for the N brand and for Hyundai overall? Hello, Judy. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone turning in to watch uh, world premiere of the new Ioniq 5N. This is an exciting moment for all of us at Hyundai. And brand is the technological high lighthouse of Hyundai. And Ioniq 5N represents our passionate com commitment to our fans who truly enjoy driving both on track and on the road. Hyundai's electrification journey can be summarized as a story of forward thinking, especially the EGMP platform based on Ioniq 5 proved to be very successful and confidence that from that project provide an excellent foundation for an ambitious high performance EV. Also, with our motorsports and the petrol N legacy, Ioniq 5N pushed the limit of the Hyundai's hardware and software engineering, such as electric vehicle control and thermal management capabilities like never before. And now that you have finally reached the finish line, what are your thoughts? Well, I believe this is great starting line, not <laughs> the finish line. Yeah. I remember in the beginning, we set a very high bar to achieve an electric N with the three pillars of N performance. And after my labs on the Nubergring last week, I'm so proud to say our engineers in Korea and Europe did not take a shortcut to achieve these targets. I can confidently say technology of the Ionic 5N will increase the competitiveness of all future Hyundai's EVs. And if I may ask, why did the company specifically choose the Festival of Speed? We choose good as the Festival of the Speed for the Ionic 5N's the dynamic debut right in front of the fans and the very heart of the car culture. I'm excited to see the response to the Ioniq 5N over the next few days and from the global car community watching online. I'd like to thank Duke Richmond and his colleagues for helping us prepare our ambitious, the first entry into the Goodwood Festival of the Speed with new Ioniq 5N. Amazing. And of course, we are talking about electric performance. Thank you very much, Thank Mr. You. Chang. Thank yeah. you. So now I'd like to have a quick chat with the Duke of Richmond. So the Ionic 5N and the Goodwood Festival of Speed seems to be like a perfect fit. So what does it mean having Hyundai at Goodwood for the first time for you and the festival? 
Well, it's wonderful to have them here, and thank you, Mr. Chang, for your very kind words and your great compliments. Uh, we really are delighted to welcome you and your passionate colleagues, and of course, your exciting cars, your most exciting cars, to Goodwood for this very, very first time. Jody Hyundai, as you know, is pushing the boundaries yeah. of new technologies. They're redefining the electric vehicle, the whole electric vehicle driving experience, and that's really important for the success of the Festival of Speed. Yes, we celebrate the past and the present, but more importantly than ever, actually, we are all about the future yeah. and presenting the constant evolution of the motor car in all its various forms. So this is a very, very exciting area that we have in common with Hyundai. Thank you. I mean, it's very, very exciting indeed. Thank you both very, very much. Right, so I'm just going to pop down there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. See you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right, here we go. Well, what a start to this world premiere launch event of the Ionic 5N. To move this story on, let's bring in the vice president, head of N brand and motorsport, Till Wartenberg. How are you? Hello, Jody. Good. How nice are you? to meet you. I'm good. good I'm to good. See you, Jody. Um, so, Till, what does this mean for N to be here at the festival with a brand new car? It means a lot to us. But first of all, let me express my appreciation and welcome the visitors and guests. Amongst the wonderful celebrations, good to be with you guys, of automotive history here at Goodwood, we intend to show the path forward. I mean, so every brand is obviously going electric. So what is the unique approach for the N brand? Our focus was to aim at the hearts of car enthusiasts, Jody, following Hyundai's humble philosophy mm -hmm. that action speaks louder than words. Mm -hmm. In 2020, we started racing the all-electric ETCR and also powered the entire grid, including our competitors, with our fuel cell generators. Mm -hmm. Progress for humanity, our guiding principle, mm -hmm. focuses holistically on sustainability, and we sought to integrate it into motorsports, mm -hmm. and now high-performance EVs. So how do you take those insights and the motorsport experience and translate that into a road car? That is a great question. We have our rolling labs, our technology playground designed to test, demonstrate, and inspire. The RN22e showed our near-term vision of electric high-performance, while the Envision 74 Chilsa in Korean, Envision Chilsa, mm -hmm. shows a more long-term future powered by a unique hydrogen hybrid architecture. We are really excited about how it will develop in the future. Whatever the technology, battery or hydrogen, we want to ensure that driving fun continues. So, I mean, bringing it back to EVs, what do you think was missing and why do you think that people haven't really fallen in love with them yet? Very true. It's quite simply, zero emissions was not enough for us car enthusiasts. Yeah. We needed to show the unique EV capabilities that move the game ahead of petrol cars to our fans, mm -hmm. many of whom are here today watching online as well, along with influences from many different countries that we invited here to Goodwood. Our performance vision is clearly defined in three key pillars, corner rascal, racetrack capability, and everyday sports car. And we pushed the limits of EV technology in order to create an EV that not only suits our culture, but most importantly, for our fans to look forward to experience. I mean, it's quite a statement to live up to. Um, but so finally, it is time to unveil the new Ionic 5N. Tell us what this car means to the N brand. In one word, in one word, elevation. Yeah. The new Ionic 5N will elevate N brand to a new playing field. And it will do so by elevating the electric driving experience like never before. The Ionic 5N will be a game changer, we believe. You know, Jody, the future of car culture is brighter than ever. Yes. The limiting factor was never petrol. It is only our imagination and courage. I like that. Thank you so much, Thank Till. You. Right. I love imagination and courage. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time here at Goodwood Festival of Speed, 
the new Ionic 5N. The legacy is not built on promises, but on the challenges you overcome. This spirit has the power to lift you to the stars. If you feel this way, you are not alone. For the love of driving. to all the car fans around the world. Here it is, the moment that we have all been waiting for. It certainly is dynamic. You could almost say it's quite aggressive looking. And as part of this live stream, we will be able to see the Ionic 5N on the famous hill climb here at the Festival of Speed. Now, you may be wondering who is responsible for this stunning design. Well, let me introduce to stage Hyundai's Head of Styling, Simon Lowsby. Hi, Simon. How are you doing? Yeah. Go on. Do you want to step up there and then... I mean, it's such a special moment for you, Simon. And if I may, I'd like to start with the design, obviously, of the Ionic 5N. Um, I described it as quite aggressive looking earlier. Would you say that that's a fair comment? Well, it, Would it, you? it yep. is. It's, I mean, yeah. it, it takes the end design language into its newest incarnation, the most futuristic incarnation. Yes. And so it's the most dynamic language we have on an end and that we've done before. But also, not only that, when you see it at a long distance, you know, you know it's one of our cars. It's the only car with this wonderful new matte performance blue color. So even 500 meters away, you'll know it's an end car coming yeah. towards you. I mean, that's the one thing is this color is beautiful and it really kind of highlights these real chiseled kind of angles that you've managed to create in the car. There's, there's a lot of sharpness about the design, but it, it, I mean, there are a lot of fundamental changes. It's got bigger wheels and tires. It's lower to the ground. It's wider. It's a little bit longer as well. So that there's actually a subtle improvement in the proportions uh, that really makes it stand out as well. I mean, because I am standing by the bumper, I mean, it's, there's nothing subtle about it. Is it all functional? Well, th that, that's the point. We like to talk about functional aesthetics, functional design. So working with the engineering teams, everything on this is about working and functionality. We yeah. need the bigger intakes for the cooling, for the, for the higher okay. power we have from the batteries. We've got extra cooling along the top here. But because we have the bigger wheels and tires, we need to counteract that aerodynamically. So we have new side air curtains in the side here, which functional aerodynamically to reduce drag. Yeah. Of course, we have the, the big wheels and tires on the car, but the car has a, a new spoiler at the rear, which is longer as well, a new diffuser at the rear, mm -hmm. and also then has these aerodynamic fins at the rear for aerodynamic separation, which help counteract the effect of these 21-inch the the forged alloy wheels with these beautiful inserts as well, which help aerodynamically reduce the drag as well. Yeah, no, they're very beautiful. And can we just touch on what's going on inside? <laughs> yeah, well, in, when you sit in the interior, I have to co give big compliments to our interior design team. The steering wheel is just a beautiful place to sit behind. It's unique for Ionic 5N, yeah. and it's designed in a way that you can control everything with your hands on the wheel still. Yeah. And that, that just is just a beautiful, you're, you're sitting lower anyway, but the steering wheel itself is just a lovely piece of sort of user ergonomic design for performance driving. Yeah, I mean, when I had a little sneak preview earlier, I did notice the console is also very different. Yes, the console is, 
is one part of the story as well. When you're driving fast, you need to brace yourself in position. Yeah. So we have the bucket seats, but the, the center console is now fixed and has a higher knee pad there, so you can really brace yourself in position as you're cornering. And so all around, it's a very, uh, very performance-orientated design package. I mean, I love it, and I can't wait to see it on the road and on the track. Uh, and I can't wait to have a go myself. Thank you, um, me but too. Thank you, huge, huge congratulations to Thanks, you Jody. and your team. Well Thanks done. Well thank done. you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming, everybody. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Brilliant work. Um, and now let me introduce Albert Biermann, who is the executive technical advisor. Hi. How Hello, are you? Jody. Lovely to see you. So good to see you. Albert, whilst we're all eager to hear about the stats, um, but uh, before we go there, there is a much stronger key concept behind the Ionic 5N. Could you tell me a little bit more about it? That's absolutely right, Jody, because it's so important. And that the key concept is simply driving fun. This is the key criteria from start to finish. If it is not fun, it is not an end. With the new Ionic 5N, we are pushing even further to electrify our driving passion. I mean, it all sounds pretty straightforward, but why is it so difficult to achieve that from a technology perspective? I would like to emphasize endurance as the key development. Cooling and energy management is even more important now, and we help the drivers to preset the battery temperature and energy settings to maximize their track session. I mean, so it sounds like you're really emphasizing the track performance. Yes, you heard it right. Despite recent EV experiences, our first Hyundai N high-performance EV can also be used at track days with reasonable stints and super-fast charging. This shows the true potential of our eGMP platform, which lives in every Ionic 5 and Ionic 6. I mean, Albert, we all know that EVs are, you know, they're extremely heavy. And I'm really curious to know what you've done with the brakes and what is your secret? Well, not only do you need strong brakes, but you also want to recover as much energy as possible. With the Ionic 5N, we achieve both. N-brake regen is developed as one of the strongest regen stats in the industry with up to 0.6 G of decelerative force. And in Ionic 5N, we even regenerate energy during ABS braking. It is so strong that the primary braking force is from regen, with hydraulic brakes acting as a secondary brakes. Now, I also want to touch on the driving experience. Surely the sound and also when you're shifting up and down the gears is quite unusual for an electric car. So how does this translate into the driving experience? We are bringing the authentic and precise high-performance car driving experience into the EV's world. We are introducing sound and shifting as functional feedback and control elements. This allows the drivers to employ their intuitive driving skills on track, even in an EV. I mean, and finally, can we talk about the sound itself? How does that sound increase the driving feedback? Can you give us a little bit more insight in the thinking behind this? Yes, it is designed to help drivers have better control of the power of the car just by hearing the sound. The sound corresponds to the motor torque, so you hear how much power you are using. We have been using our hearing without knowing for such a long time, but once it was gone, it became harder to drive fast. This is why we brought it back. And I know that the sound was really heavily teased in, in the pre-launch films, but there seems to be more than one sound. I mean, how many are there? There are three sounds. Let me demonstrate. Ignition simulates our existing petrol engines. Yeah, yeah. Right. Nice. Supersonic. Now, the next one is Evolution. It's our signature high-performance EV sound. Amazing. And, 
And last is a supersonic, is a fun sound simulating a fighter jet. Of the three, okay. Yeah, so wow. there's, there's more to come, there's more to come. So of the three, I would like to bring your attention to the ignition sound. In combination with the NE shift, it provides the most focused driving feedback and immersive driving experience. Once you are in the car, you will forget you are driving an EV. I mean, that's intriguing to say the least. Right, time, time to wrap things up, almost, but we want to hear about those all-important performance figures. So come on, come on, Albert, tell us. Well, we developed our fastest and most powerful car ever, but talking about figures last hopefully shows where our priorities lie. <laughs> so the headline figure is 650 horsepower from the dual motors using N-Grin Boost. The 0 to 100 acceleration is achieved in about 3.4 seconds with a top speed of 260 kilometers per hour. I mean, that's seriously, seriously impressive and very ambitious, might I add. It's damn fast. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was a very daring project for all of us at Hyundai and the new Ionic 5 and really represents our challenger spirit. We wanted to make an electric car the way we want to drive it, a typical Hyundai N car. And during the process, we ended up creating our own benchmark for electric high performance. I mean, I honestly cannot wait to get behind the wheel, but thank you, Albert. It's been such a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jody. The pleasure was all mine. So. So that concludes the first part of the end day 2023. However, as I said earlier, there is a lot more to come. Hi, I'm June Park from M Brand Management Group, responsible for all the end activities around the world. Last year, we promised to create an exciting future for the car enthusiasts around the world. This is Ionic 5N, the first high performance EV from M Brand. And this is how we are keeping our promise. Everyone who's watching this has one thing in common. We all love driving. The sound of engine roar, the connection with the car and to the road, the downshift, carving the sharp corner, accelerating as we upshift. The sense of freedom and the enthusiasm. We never really need this but we always want it. So let's find out why Ionic 5N is what you want. When you get inside of the car, the first thing that catches your eyes is the design of the steering wheel. Ionic 5N is the first N car to come with the N logo right in the center. Something a lot of the enthusiasts have wanted for so long. Compared to NGS button right here, we have NGB. We called it N Green Boost. This car generates 650 PS with N Green Boost engaged. And it can be also reused after 10 seconds of recharge. N Brand's high performance identity is also reflected into other parts of Ionic 5N's interior design. And the checkered flag design accelerator and the brake pedal is another one of the most distinct examples. And while we are here, let me show you how we created that emotional driving feeling that allows the drivers to interact with the car. Yes, the sound of Ionic 5N is something that we particularly focused on. We all sat down together and thought about what kind of sound we want in our high-performance EV. The first sound that we thought about is internal combustion engine N sound which is famous for the pop and bangs. And next is Evolution. This Evolution was originally from N2025 Vision Gran Turismo, which we recorded with all different assets like motors, inverters, and fuel cell stacks, and so on and so forth. And the third one is about the jet fighter sound that we can deliver the powerful boosting moment. Instead of putting tons of amount of money for some kind of artistic things, we actually wanted to create the sound that we really want as an enthusiast. And just because of we can, N-Brand will develop more crazy sound 
so that you can drive in tune with your emotions. From one car enthusiast to another, this sound will give you the driving feedback that will make you feel even more connected to Ionic 5N. When we did a test drive with this car at the Nürburgring a month ago, the drivers found it much easier to drive at its best with the sounds on. Then you could really hear and feel the, all the feedbacks the vehicle is giving. And this is what delivers a truly involved driving feel and emotion. If you are a true N fan, you must have watched our Ionic 5N teasers. And if you are a serious driver, you must have noticed the battery temperature. 42 degrees Celsius after the first lab at the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Our fourth generation battery literally survived from the green hill. Not only battery itself, but also the battery management system and thermal management, as well as all those kind of you know, cooling components that makes this car survive at the green hill. You can select one of the two battery preconditioning modes. If it is a drag race you're looking for, the fastest acceleration that you can achieve is critical. The drag mode will prepare the battery at the 30 to 40 degrees Celsius for the burst of acceleration. Simply put, this allows you to achieve the optimal range for the car to perform at its best. And when you're in need of consistent power like a long, intense track drive, you can select the track mode. This will precondition the battery at a lower temperature so you can enjoy your ride to the fullest from the very start. To give you an example, as the high-performance EV, we are looking at two laps and more on Nordschleife, which is more than 20 kilometers long per one lap. It's not just for the ride that we are bringing the smart battery management into. We also took optimal charging into the equation. For Ionic 5N, you can set the battery temperature on the lowest for fast charging before going onto the track one more time. At N Brand, as obvious as this might sound, we sincerely love driving. That's why we want everyone to enjoy driving and have fun. And Ionic 5N's Drift Optimizer helps you do just that. By controlling the torque, the suspension, and the steering angle, Ionic 5N allows you to stay in control when driving sideways. To make drifting even easier, Ionic 5N has the torque kick that helps you initiate the movement. The Ionic 5N sets the new benchmark for high-performance EVs. I know that you are seeing on the screen, and no matter how hard I try to show you all the extraordinary features of this car, I know that it just won't be possible. And that's why I really, really hope you go ahead and test drive Ionic 5N. You can instantly feel the evolution of EV performance. We want to make sure that every journey is an adventure because to us and to you, driving still matters. And so the satisfaction on launch day, when you see everything uh, ready to go as we're sending some of your uh, brand's uh, rally cars up the, up the hill. I didn't think we were going to see this uh, after all, but we are, and they sound absolutely terrific. Uh, the pride of the team on launch day must be enormous, given, given what you've achieved with the car. Oh, yes, absolutely. And uh, uh, so we're introducing this new car with the, with the idea that sound and gear shifting has to come back to high-performance driving. So, Alex, we all know EV car, but it's a bit like asking you to dance to very fast-paced music. He's very, he's very good at that. Yeah. With the volume set to zero. It's all wrong. It wouldn't work, yeah. Uh, so you, you, can, you can't hear it, but you have to dance fast, but you don't have the cues, right? So in a high-performance drive, if you look at these corners in the Goodwood Hill Climb, you're already thinking gear speed and RPM. 
And that's what we're trying to bring back. And we are now seeing a car on circuit. The Ionic 5N. The end for the high performance team. You heard the N relating to the Nürburgring as well. And the two laps done there. And we are about to see the launch of it. And after its launch a couple of hours ago, it is now time to light it up. And it's an interesting, it's, it's so interesting that you say about that, it's trying to bring the feel of a high performance car that we know, that we instinctively know with all the technology of an EV. Yeah, yes, again, so we spent such a long time getting ourselves familiar, familiarized and trained to drive these kind of fast cars. So we want to keep that skill to a, a very fast EV. So as I said before, if you enter a corner, you're already thinking speed, gear, and RPM. And you strategize how you're going to navigate the corners. The same idea we want to bring to EVs, but obviously with the benefits of the fast response of the electric motors. And, you, and gen, genuinely, we want the customers to have fun. And what you see on screen here is the Ionic 5N Drift Spec. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. So, it's a very mildly tuned Ionic 5N, so very mild suspension mods and the interior is a bit uh, disassembled for, for safety reason, reasons. But uh, we developed this car to demonstrate the kind of fun you might have by modifying or tracking the car. And really, NPM is all about elevating the BPM, beats per minute of your heartbeat. And we, and we want to use these vehicles to try to, you know, raise your, your heartbeat as much as we can. Well, that is absolutely the epicenter, isn't it, of any high-performance car. And uh, just to let you know with what you're seeing on screen at the moment, the legendary Terry Grant, who has uh, taken an enormous amount of rubber off an enormous amount of tires through the years, is at it again, Alice. And uh, it's interesting to hear the process being brought to fruition that we see in front of us. No, it certainly is, and it's a very impressive looking car, and I'm certainly intrigued by the drift spec as well, as we can see the continued celebrations there. So you must be very, this might be a very, very proud moment for you to see all the hard work that you and your team have put in to see these wonderful cars out on display now. It's an enormously proud moment for all of our teams spread across all around the world. And to have our cars here, and, and really what we see as the heart of car culture, it is a huge uh, milestone for us. And here on the screen we have the Ionic 5N, the drift spec car. And in the middle you will see the silver car, which is called the N-Vision 74. That is a very interesting car because it is a full, it is a hydrogen fuel cell powered car, 670 horsepower. Wow, wow. It's very, very impressive, very experimental. We only have one such functional powertrain, and that is in this car right in front of you. <laughs> and one, one, and it's right there. It no, is what it's being driven nice and gently sandwiched in between your other wonderful yeah. cars. It's there. not it's not attacking the circuit like Alice would be if we if we'd let her drive it. And <laughs> uh, uh, when is this car available for for customers, not the hydrogen powered one, your iconic 5N available for, for customers to, to purchase or even possibly test drive? So the Ionic 5N will arrive in Korea first in September. And then following that will be our European launch. And then next year, we're expanding our reach to multiple markets. Fantastic. Sign me up. I mean, I, I, I think Alice would enjoy it. I think I would enjoy it. Uh, why not? It's a good way of getting some publicity. Well, it's been wonderful to see the car out there. It's obviously an amazing day for you and your team to, to take a, an established car to take something that I think everyone knows from the styling, a real head turner. You, you mentioned the, the, the modern styling that you get with electric vehicles, but to add performance as well and try and try and link it to the past 
And ultimately, I think he said it when he said to try and make your heart beat faster is the epicenter of any great car. And uh, yeah, we see them now uh, heading to the line. Another launch, another moment and a great contrast in the last hour between the heritage of another brand and a brand new version writ large in your picture. A high performance car. And there's one thing you're going to do here at Goodwood on the hill climb when it's a high performance car and that's light it up, Alice. That is the best way, no? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> great job as usual by Terry Grant, really giving a good demonstration of this incredible car, when you can see it, of course, through through the dust that, that Terry is creating. And I think it is just another fantastic part of Goodwood. This is being the first people that can really get up close and see these cars actually going out on track, the launch cars. And there we go, the drift spec, doing what it does best, drifting. And that is just incredible shots there, Alex. Jack, and any, any final thoughts you'd like to leave us with? Anything you'd like to reiterate, uh, having, having just seen that car launched and, and, and now out on the circuit for the first time? So as our CEO, uh, Jay Chang, said during our uh, World Premier launch, uh, this is only the starting line. So we're going far, far more than what we show today. So stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.